Hi, welcome back to the second video about making a simple shooter. Sorry there's been a bit of a delay. I got a bit of man flu, so it took me out for half a week. Uh, fighting fit now and can carry on with this game. I had to re remember all the source code and look at it again because I'd totally forgotten where I'd, what I'd coded. So, um, if you remember last time we had... Um, the game running and um, we could move left and right the player ship um, we stopped it from going off the sides of the screen okay so not much of a game yet so let's make this ship fire a bullet okay um, so what we need to do uh, we have a variable here called laser fired this is a flag so we're bringing this in the main.agc we're, we're defining it as zero um, we need to also uh, include a new file called player shoots okay that uh, will check to see if a player has fired and if he has or she has then update the bullet and we need to call that within the main loop so in the do loop here we've got player shoots so we first we went to move the player then we go to player shoots and we go around and around and around like that uh, before we do that, we have to go to Loader, because we're going to load in a laser image. Okay, and then we're going to uh, create a laser sprite with create sprite with sprite number two, with image number two, because there we are, laser.png. And then we're going to position the, the, the laser off screen, because we don't, we don't want to see it straight away, we want to keep it out of the way. So that's what Loader does. It's loading in the player ship and now the laser. Okay, and we go to player shoots. What does this do? Okay, so as remember from the main loop, we call player shoots and it will check if, so the if statement, I don't think I talked about ifs last time and I should have done. Uh, this is a logic sort of check. It's saying if get pointed pressed equals one. What does that mean? Well, if you're running on a Windows PC or a Mac or Linux, then if the mouse point has been pressed, then that is true. Okay. If it hasn't been pressed, then it's false and anything under the if won't happen. So let's imagine we, we do we do click the button and laser fired equals zero. Okay, why are we checking that? So we're saying, if we've clicked the button and laser fired equals zero, which it will do initially, because if we remember back in the main loop, uh, we defined it here, laser fired equals zero. That means there's no there's no laser on the screen. Then um, this is true. So we can start the laser. So then we set laser fired equals one. Uh, we're saying now, we set that flag to one. The, the laser is, has been fired because we don't want to keep generating the same bullet while it's going to be travelling up the screen. Then we're going to have to work out the position of the laser because remember when we run the game this player ship can be moving left and right. So we say the laser's X position okay, is going to be um, the X position of the player ship plus half the width of the player ship and that would mean we're getting where the player ship is plus half the length of, half the width of it and that would position the laser in the middle of the ship and we're also um, just sub uh, re taking off half the size of the width of the bullet it's a bit complicated but it means that your bullet is exactly in the middle so you know don't worry too much about that and then where in in the Y, so that's the X axis, that's where the, sh the ship is going to be moving left and right. So, well, the Y of the laser needs to be the same Y position as the ship, and I'm minus about 40 off, so the bullet starts um, at an appropriate place. Anyway, you'll see that in a minute when I run it. Um, I've just left this line here commented out. This is to do with playing sounds. We'll come to that later um, so that kick starts the laser starting off 
It can be a bit tricky to think, think this through, but you, you'll see it. And that only happens sort of once, doesn't it? Once you fired it, that's not going to happen again until either the bullet's hit something or it's gone off screen and been reset. So the program carries down to this next if statement. If laser fired equals 1, uh, which it does now, then the laser Y position equals the laser Y position minus 12. Okay, so that will, if you imagine it being fired at the bottom, it will move it 12 pixels uh, up the screen, or, or backwards up the screen. And that makes the bullet go up the screen. Now in this check here, we're just seeing if it's gone off screen. And I do that by seeing if the Y position, called laser Y, is less than a minus value of get sprite height of the laser. Um, and if it is, then laser fired equals zero, and there's no bullet on the screen, and the whole process will kick start again when there's a touch, and off we go again. And finally, we need to actually position the sprite based on laser X and laser Y. I know it all sounds a bit complicated, but you'll see it in action in a moment. Okay, so we should be able to just run that and fire. There we go. There's a bullet. And you see, it starts at the bottom, fires to the top. Okay. Let's just play with some values. Let's not do 12. Let's just do, say, 2. And you can see it's much, much slower going up the screen. Not very exciting. That's why I moved it to 12. Um, so that's what uh, that number does there. So that's firing the laser. Uh, let's make it make a sound, shall we? So we need to go back to main loop here. And uh, here's a hash include sounds.atc. Okay, what does that do? Well, here's the file here. It loads in some sounds. It loads in... Um, a sound explosion WAV and laser.wav. So WAVs are WAV files and these are normal uh, sound files that you can get off the internet. I think I've just taken them off a, a free website. And um, I've also loaded some music but we'll, we'll come to that another time. So go back to player shoots and if I put this line back in, play sound laser so laser, if you go back to sounds.agc, laser equals the low sound of laser.wav. Okay, so that gives it a value. Run the game. Oh, no sound. Why no sound? Interesting. What did I miss? Have I not included something? I'm not playing the sounds, no. Ah, oh, load sounds. There we are. <laughs> so... Yeah, I included the sounds, but I didn't do the loading. So I've got to remember, main does all this initialization of the of the program. There we go. All right. So now we've got a ship. In fact, I'll just run that again. So run that. The sound plays. And we can move the ship, and you can see the bullet comes out at the right place. Now we just need an enemy to shoot. 